all right welcome back guys now before we start looking at the um design components or the user interface components ui components in ionic i want you to install an extension that will help you format your code so that you don't have to you know worry so much about you know spacing your code and stuff like that it will do that automatically for you so what i want you to do is i want you to come to and click on this icon here extensions icon and i want you to search for prettier okay so it's prettier code formatter okay and i just want you to install it so you'll see something like this install button if you have not installed it before so just go ahead and install it so that it will format your code automatically okay so we can have the same um experience okay so that, that's what i want you to do so do that and continue so now let's start looking at ionic components okay so i'm going to expand this and go to my app toolkit and then i'll click on page ui components so we have a number of components here right the first one is the card okay so before i start using this component i'm going to go to my home.page.html and i'm going to delete everything inside of the ion content so i'll just highlight everything and delete okay and even what is inside of this um, ion content opening tag i'll get rid of it okay so basically what we have is the ion header and the ion content and then i can go ahead and save and let's open this up one more time so let's look at the first component which is our card component now to use the card components all you just need to do is to scroll down to this card components area and copy and click on copy to copy the card component and on the right here you see what the card component actually looks like so i'll go ahead and copy it i'll minimize this and let's come to our page so maybe what i what i'll do on this home page is that i'll change this blank to home okay so you can see that we actually changed it and then inside the content right i just press the tab key to move my cursor i'll press ctrl v to paste in that code i copied from the ui component and i'll click on ctrl s to save and let's see what happens all right so you see here we have this card component here so we have a title which is what we have here ion card title a subtitle and some content so i can go ahead and change this title to something like welcome to my app and if i save that it's going to reflect here so just give it a few seconds and it will reload and as you can see it says welcome to my app and then i can add some kind of text here so uh, i'm just going to say hello world because i don't have any other thing to say at this point i'm speechless i'll save that and let's see what happens and you see it changes to hello world so basically inside of our ion card right so let me just give some space we have a ion card header which is what contains the title and subtitle and then we have ion card content which is what is going to contain the content of our app so i can even come here and just do a trick so i'll say lorem 20 to generate 20 words and i'll save you don't have to you don't actually have to know what i did there okay just know that you can actually just add text okay so as you can see i have more text here so the ion card component actually can be the foundation for your design in other words you can put everything you are designing inside of an ion card and we're going to see that shortly all right so let's go back to the uh toolkit and there are some options here okay so first off we can set the color of the card and let me show you how you can do that okay so i'll just copy this i right click and copy it 
and then I would minimize this and then I'll come inside the opening tag for my ion card so this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag okay the closing tag has this forward slash I'll come here give one space and paste in that color attribute I copied so this is known as the color attribute. if I save this watch what happens so you see it has changed my ion card to a dark card and the content of the card becomes white so I'm going to stop here for our ion card because subsequently we're going to learn more about how we're going to structure our page so in the next one we're going to look at another component see you there all right welcome back guys so in this um, one we are still going to um, take a look at the ion card content okay so um, in the, at the end of the last lecture we added a component that um, made the card dark okay and that is known as an attribute okay so this is where this is the opening tag of the um, ion card right here and then here with ion card the forward slash has the closing tag so this is the closing tag now I just want to emphasize that when we add attributes attributes are just you know little snippets of text that add certain properties to our content or our ionic component and we add attributes in the opening tag okay so this is the ion card content we added color dark and that changed the color of the card and made everything inside the card white that's the content the text so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get rid of this just to demonstrate something else to you okay if i save that um the just give it a few seconds and it will refresh that's because we did ionic serve okay so you see here that we have our card it's back to normal white background and then it has this border around it now i'm going to show you another attribute that can get rid of the border around the card because if you're creating several cards right then it may not make sense to have borders around the card um, at all times so i'm going to go back to our uh, toolkit okay and then i'll just scroll down just a little bit okay so this is our ion card component now i wrote here that to remove the border around the card add this attribute to the card opening tag okay so remember this is the card opening tag up top here so what i'm going to do is i'll just copy this attribute i'll right click i'll click on copy i will minimize um minimize this <coughs> excuse me and i'll paste that inside of my opening tag okay because that is where we always place our attributes and i'll do control v okay and then i'll save now give it a few seconds and watch what happens now if you notice very well you see that the border around the card has gone okay that is because of these attributes we just added here so those are like the two important things i want you to know so basically every other component that we are going to add into this page we are going to always be putting it inside an ion card okay and then whenever it's necessary we are going to remove the borders around the card okay so um yeah so that's the lecture thank you so much and see you in the next one